you know, we graduated college, we did what we thought we were supposed to, you know, we moved to a city, we bought a house, we got the dog, and it kind of got to a point where we just weren't that happy. I don't know if it's a goal so much as if it's just a, the way I want to live my life long term is, is having more freedom to see the people I want to see, uh, see the places I want to see, be in the places I want to be in, to where uh, kind of our lifestyle before this that just didn't really fit. Hey, my name is Lauren and welcome to our bus. So first, up front, we have our living room slash dining room. We have a great seven foot couch over here on the side. It has, everything in here has two purposes at least. So there's a lot of storage underneath here. We really don't even utilize it all. So we have plenty room for a lot more. Over here on the other side, we have our dining room table here. Also can work as extra workspace if we need it to. And we can also, set it down as well more room for our dog we have his bowls and everything down here but then it just comes right back up and voila pretty easy so a lot of times we'll take our chairs back here we have this little stool um, that also works as a footstool as well and here's the front of our bus so we kind of have our cockpit area over here we also have i guess an extended library this like cookbooks and some photo albums, things like that. Our dog's little area is right here. So he has his bed. We have a little basket with his, you know, leashes, treats, things like that. So moving back, we have our workspace over here on the side. We really enjoy this workspace. It has room for both of us if we need to sit down, be on computers for any reason. For me, even though most of my work is in the hospital, uh, I still have training and different things that I need to get done as well. We have a monitor that we can also pull out if we want to watch TV or if David's working, he can plug his computer in as well. And then down on our side, we also have our control panel here where we can turn the inverter on and off. This is where we can also see how much solar we have. Desk continues on. We have more storage underneath here for different work items. So from the opposite side of our workspace, we have our kitchen. This is a fantastic kitchen. It's pretty big. We love that. We have our Norcold two-way fridge, so it can run off propane or electric. Since we're here at the RV park, um, we have it hooked up to electric because why not? And it saves our propane, so we don't have to go find somewhere to refill that. But it's a great size. It also has a small freezer in there, so we can fit everything we need for just two people. Next to it, we have our Atwood 2 um, burner propane stove. Down here next, we have a ton of cabinetry, you know, all of our utensils, you know, your plastic bags, things like that. And then all of our pots and pans, cups, we have an Instant Pot. Really everything fits super well in here. Continuing on, we have our sink storage underneath. Uh, you can kind of peek in there. You can see our six gallon water heater that's heated by propane as well. Lots of storage space. We have our water pump underneath here too for when we're not hooked up to city water. Right behind here, we have our pantry, which is also a great size pantry as well. It's full floor, top to bottom, really everything we need we can fit in here. So it's worked really great. So across from our kitchen pantry, this is pretty much our, our closet. We don't have a, a hanging closet. Like David mentioned, we have um, hanging clothes that are in the back of the bus if we really need them for formal occasions, but typically that's not the case. So down here, we both have our own drawer. This one's mine, slightly larger, <laughs> but it holds plenty of clothes. David's drawer is right next to here. In here, we have like underwear, socks, toiletries of different kinds, kind of our, our medicine cabinet, um, first aid kits, things like that stay in here. And then moving back is the bedroom. So we have a full-size mattress, but we're not very big people, so we, we make it work and it's not been an issue. We also kind of have our, our library up on the, to the top of that over on the side. And then we also have a lot of storage underneath here as well. So we have containers that hold extra shoes or off season clothing, extra bed linens, towels, things like that. And then last but not least, um, we have our bathroom here in the back. Coming back, we have a comp composting toilet, nature's head. Honestly, really enjoyed using that. We don't have to deal with black water, which was a huge plus for us. A little nervous about using a composting toilet at first, but it's really not been a big deal at all. And then we also have our shower back here. 
It's small, but it gets the job done. My name is David Robinson. Uh, this is our bus. It's a 2001 GMC Bluebird. It's a 37 foot bus. It's got a Caterpillar 3126 hooked up to an Allison four speed uh, that we love. We've, we've had really no problems with uh, good oil and good gas and we're good to go. Diesel here, uh, it's a 70 gallon uh, diesel fuel tank. Uh, we have water hookups here. Um, so we have a uh, spout to fill up our 65 gallon freshwater tank and also uh, to hook up the city water like we are now. Our freshwater tank sits uh, right here underneath. This is our hot water heater. It's a six gallon uh, propane hot water heater. It's not on demand, it's a tank, but uh, we've really had no problems with it. Coming to the back, uh, here is our 65 gallon gray water tank. So this is just shower and sink water. Um, and we've got a spout here with the valve that we just hook up uh, with the water hose to dump it. So this is our garage space, which we really think uh, kind of sets our bus apart. And really what we love about our bus is, is this space back here. We've got a nice exterior light on the back and we've got lights on the inside as well. And back here we've got room for my bike. We've got suitcase for if we ever need to fly anywhere. We've got dog food back here, uh, some hanging clothes. Up top we've got all our camping gear, uh, tents, hammocks, chairs. We can really keep all of our stuff regardless of season with us at all time and not really have to kind of worry about cycling stuff in and out uh, depending on the season. Down here is our propane tank. Uh, it's a 28 gallon propane tank. So we got the valve to open and close propane and then uh, to fill up uh, down here as well. This is uh, the exhaust for our furnace. Um, it's an Atwood uh, forced air furnace coming down the side to the storage bins under here. Uh, the first one is our batteries and a little extra storage that we're honestly not utilizing right now. We've got four 125 amp hour uh, AGM batteries for 500 amp hours. And those are charged. We've got three 160 watt solar panels. Uh, so 480 watts total charging the batteries. Ooh, in this bay, we have our uh, 3000 watt inverter, as well as a battery controller and a breaker box and some uh, extra floor mats if we want to put out. Finally, this is uh, our battery, battery box. Uh, yeah, this is uh, are two batteries that uh, start the engine. I was an aerospace engineer uh, before this. Um, I did that for six years and just wasn't really anything realistically I could do remotely. I'm now working for a company called Curated as a ski expert selling ski gear online, so. I work as a nurse, so I'm a travel nurse um, and I will pick up contracts. I mean, they can be anywhere from four weeks to 13 weeks. So it really just kind of depends where we're wanting to be and what kind of contracts are available. Our main things, we want to get all 50 states. Also seeing all the national parks as well. It's like one of our big checklists, bucket lists that we want to complete. You know, seeing family and friends that we have living all over the U.S. that we don't get to see very often. It's been great meeting up with them. The fragileness of life itself, I think when you kind of get slapped in the face with like, hey, this is how quickly it can all be taken away from you. I think to me was kind of eye-opening to be like, hey, like, I spent the last six years not necessarily doing what I want to do. Do I want to spend the next six not doing what I want to do? To where, no, like, I think, like, I, I want to be in the mountains, I want to be in the snow, like, I want to be around my friends, around my family, and, and life kind of be more on my schedule. Obviously, like, I still have to work, she still has to work, but... <laughs> To where that's less of a driving force of every decision we make, work is not, you know, kind of driving how we live.